Hey everybody, it's Lacey. Uh, here for my 32 week pregnancy update. I have quite a few things to show you that I bought this week and uh, not a whole lot of, to talk about as far as the pregnancy, but anyway. Uh, oh, also I uploaded yesterday uh, I finally did my husband tag, so I'll put a link uh, for you guys to go check that out if you want. And by the way, my husband looks like <laughs> he's in an interrogation or something. <laughs> oh man, he was really tired and he was being really nice to do it for me, but he was just really tired, so he was having a hard time <laughs> even focusing. Anyway, so go check that out if you want. Uh... Okay, so no new symptoms. Um, all the old ones are still there. Pelvis, reflux, any other ones, I guess. No, nothing new, which is good. Uh, also, my swelling, I think I mentioned that a while ago. Um, yeah, I've had swelling in my feet and a little bit in my hands, but mostly my feet and mostly my right side. And my right side got really bad the other day. So that's been fun. And oh yeah, you'll notice I'm in the nursery. And the crib is up. Okay, the crib is up. It's painted. The bedding's in. So this will give you a little bit of a clue. I'll kind of move over. Um, let me see if I can get you closer. Uh, yeah, so there's little whales on the sheet and then this is like a denim um, striped bumper and the skirt is the same as well and that's the blanket my sister made I showed you earlier so yeah that kind of gives you an idea of what the nursery is going to look like um, and when I try to explain to people because I've had like family members and other people ask me um, what my theme is and I don't have a theme like the theme stuff like is not my style I I'm, I don't really go for that kind of thing um, not that there's anything wrong with that it's just that uh, I don't know I just don't go for like the character animal kind of thing that's just not really it's kind of things I like but so when I describe it to people I guess the best way is like if Pottery Barn and Antiques had a baby, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of the best way to describe it. It's like, I don't know. I kind of like it to look like it goes with my house, and but at the same time, it's a baby's room. and I don't know. You guys will see in my nursery tour, and I'm getting cl really close to that. Uh, my sister's going to be coming to visit next weekend, and she's just going to kind of help me kind of do some of the finishing things and then I will get that up for you guys so that'll be really soon and then you'll get to kind of see what I'm talking about because it probably doesn't make sense right now but anyway um yeah that's all symptoms and everything um I guess cravings I've had are probably oh um orange juice I oh my gosh I drank so much orange juice since last week oh yeah jello pudding cups not snack pack pudding cups the jello brand pudding cups and it has to be the vanilla and chocolate swirl kind oh it's so good oh it tasted so good to me uh i think that's it yeah yeah that's all my cravings um okay so i had a doctor's appointment on friday and the uh like three days last week I had my stomach was rock hard those three days straight and I ended up taking my um, nifedipine and it kind of helped the one day but not really much the other day and I didn't call my doctor or anything just because I knew I was gonna have my appointment on Friday so I went Friday told him about it and he checked me again uh, and I was 50 to 60% effaced. So, 
yeah, those contractions are definitely doing something. I'm not dilated at all, which is great. As long as the dilation doesn't happen, I, you know, I'm, he told me to just keep doing what I'm doing as long as, uh, my contractions don't get stronger or more regular and they haven't ever been regular, regular. So that's good. But the diet, the, the effacement is kind of worrisome, but I don't know. I think I mean, I'm only 32 weeks and that is still very scary and I don't want him here by any means yet. I mean, I'm not ready for him to come, but at least there's no dilation. So I'm kind of happy about that. And anyway, so I go back in two weeks again and hopefully no contractions again. I don't know if he'll check me or not. He didn't say, but we'll find out. <clears throat> so I will just show you stuff that I bought this week and I kind of have a lot of things. Some of the stuff I bought and some of the stuff that people have made for me. So. Uh, these first few things aren't very fun, but I had coupons for them, so I went and got some. Um, just got some wipes. These are the ones from Smith's brand. I got some uh, diaper rash cream. And baby lotion. I love this stuff. It's like, there's just nothing that smells like it. I mean, there really isn't. And all you have to do is smell it and you immediately think baby it's just that's the best part about it I love it and you think clean baby too okay uh, next thing I bought was I needed a sleeping nursing bra and I got whoa it looks really big on the camera I got this from motherhood um, the sleep bras are very different from just it's like a training bra when you really think about it it's like what the same ideas like a training bra is. It's just cotton, it's stretchy, it's soft, there's no cup, um, no underwire, nothing. And it's just, it just crisscrosses in the front so that you can just pull it down and nurse. And it's just so that you can sleep in it because you have to wear, you don't have to, but if you don't, you get soaking wet. You need to wear uh, nursing pads while you sleep or else you'll just be soaking wet when you wake up. Um, so having a bra helps with that. And what else? I bought this a while ago, but it finally came in the mail um, from Totsy.com. It's like one of those mother um, sites that uh, has like 70% off on um, high-end uh, designer things. And I got a lampshade, or excuse me, a lamp stand. And it didn't come with the shade, but I can go find one of those for like a dollar. So um, got that for the baby's room. And... Then these are so cute. Uh, these are little air, or, uh, slippers slash shoes because of, they do have a sole on them. They're little Airwalk shoes. I hope you can see them. They're just from Payless. They were like six bucks. And they have little plaid on the side and they're black on the top. Oh, they're so cute. And they have like a real sole so they can be shoes as well and then they have like the um soft lining oh they're so cute they're size three i got them bigger so that he could actually wear them and use them uh so yeah they're so cute i can't wait to use them and okay next is i got uh some blankets my mom made me uh and each kid i mean i have five sisters and excuse me four sisters and one brother and my brother's not married yet or anything uh but my for all my nieces and nephews and everything my mom has made each of them like four or five blankets so this child was the same she made some and I'll show you this one first this is the one my mom made came up with it just has like brown blue different blues the other side is just brown so there's that one and this one I love because I love vintage and antique looking things. And this one, and it's just patchwork and it has several different um, fabrics on it. There's like, on this side, there's like little circus. I'm having a hard time with my camera. Yeah. And then the other side is just like a little blue. Oh, heavens pattern and it's quilted like really small 
the quilting thread is uh, really close together so that it looks antique. That's what gives it that really like vintagey look along with the fabrics too. So, and this one I have been wanting her to make ever since I was like in high school. <laughs> we found fabric in a store one day and I said, okay, keep that. And one day when I have a boy, you can make that into a blanket for me. So I've had uh, this idea for this blanket for like nine years or something. So yeah. So it's this, and this is called Mark Miller. He's the one that designed this fabric. And you could actually find it pretty much anywhere. It's called Little Lil, like L-I-L, Cowpoke is the pattern. And it's just little cowboys. Oh my gosh, I can't get this to work. Yeah, little cowboys sitting on fences and roping and stuff. And it's quilted the same way as the other one, so it looks vintage. And then the other side is like little stars. And it's flannel on the one side and then just regular cotton on the other side. I love this blanket. Oh, I've been dying to have this blanket done and I finally got a boy. So I'm so excited to have that. I can't wait. And no, we don't have any like Western style in here, but I grew up on a ranch and so that's just kind of part of my life. So I think it's the cutest thing ever. Anyway, that's all like that stuff. But I wanted to show you guys something. Okay. Now, me and my sisters used to kind of do like a little kind of bit of a business um, where we made like little baby sundries and uh, mostly just baby stuff. And we used to make, I'm sure you guys have seen, some of you guys have seen um, the binkies that have like jewels on them. You can, I think Munchkin makes them. Um, yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if they carry them anymore, but um, they used to have them. So... But before those even came out, um, sorry, I'm out of breath. Uh, me and my sisters, one of the baby items that we would make were binkies with bling on them, basically. So we called them blinkies. And uh, <laughs> now that I say this, someone's going to steal the idea. Anyway, I mean, it's whatever. I still want to show you because they're so cute. Uh, okay, so here's one. And these are real Swarovski crystals, by the way, which I think is so awesome. So it's got like a star in the middle and then it's just gotten outlined with the jewels and it's blue and green. Okay. And then here's another one. This one is so cute. I love it. Isn't that so cool? I love it. And um, yes, the jewels can fall off if you're pretty rough with them. I mean, they're glued on there pretty good, but, um, I mean, if you're careful, it's okay. But anyway, aren't they so cute? I love them and I can't wait to use them for baby boy. And we've made, I've made several different other ones. I've made like for sports teams, um, uh, just, and usually I just try to match the color of the jewels with the binky, but. Uh, yeah, it's been super fun. Like we've done initials, um, like on the, I'm trying to remember, like on the, on the nucks that have like just the plain front, they don't have the ring on it. Um, I've done initials, uh, sorts, all sorts of different things. It's been, it's super, super cute. And I don't have any of the other ones because we've given them away or sold them or whatever. So those are the only ones I have left, but I decided to show you the, show you those because they're so cute. Anyway, yeah, I think that's all guys. And, uh... I don't, I won't have the doctor's appointment for two weeks, so I won't have a, um, an update on that for the next one, but in two weeks, excuse me, in two weeks I will. So, so make sure you go and check out the husband tag if you would like, and um, hopefully I can get the nursery tour up. I'm going to guess that it's going to be after next, after this coming weekend, um, I'm not making any promises, but I just want it perfect and because that's how I am. I like to do things to have to be perfect. So, okay, guys, uh, I'll do the belly shot real quick. Ooh. So this is 32 weeks and one day today. And I don't know if it's bigger or not. I haven't measured or anything. So, yeah.
Okay, guys, leave any questions you have, and I will get to you guys, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.